Hello and welcome to Pure and True Essentials. Today I am going to show you how to make soap with just one single oil. Yes, you heard it right, just one oil. And I chose that oil to be coconut oil as it's got numerous health benefits and at the same time it's widely available. Without much delay, let's get started. I've already melted 500 grams approximately 1.1 pound of coconut oil um, and both the oil and the lye water are around 100 degree Fahrenheit. Uh, I'm adding the lye water into the oils and I'm pouring the water on top of a spatula to avoid air bubbles. I'm using the spatula to mix the oil and the water. But as you can see, they are not getting mixed together very easily. So I'm going to bring in my favorite tool, the stick blender, which is used to emulsify oil and water together in seconds. Now you can see why we need a stick blender. It makes things a lot faster instead of hours. I just complete my soap start to finish maybe within 30 minutes max minus the uh, lye water prep. With a few more pulses and stirs of the stick blender, the soap will emulsify fast. Before that, I'm going to talk about the trays types. Uh, there is thin, medium, and thick trays. So a light trays is a solid color and the consistency of a thin cake batter. It takes around 60 seconds of stick blending to get there. Thin trays is the best time to add colorants and fragrance because it's easy to stir, it's also easy to pour and it's perfect for swirl designs. And as the soap sits, it'll get thicker and thicker. You can also speed up the process of thickening by stick blending it. Next is medium trays. It has a thin pudding consistency. It takes about two minutes to reach there. When you remove the stick blender and drizzle soap on top, you'll notice thin streaks stay on the surface. So that means you've achieved the medium tray. So now I'm adding my fragrance into my soap. I'm not adding much. I'm just adding a little because I'm going to use it for cleaning and washing. So now I'm going to stick blend it to get a thin consistency. Medium trays is great for layers because it's thick enough to support the soap that pour on top. It's also good for embeds. So then now let me talk about the thick trays. Uh, it is a consistency of a pudding and it holds its shape. It takes more than two minutes, usually like four to five minutes of stick blending. And it's great for layers, texture, top and soap frosting. I think I'm almost ready. Let's check the trays. Yes, I've got it. It's a very thin tray, so it's easily pourable and I can uh, get all my uh, soap into my mold. So I've got a few tips for you. So one tip is uh, stick blending brings soap to trays more quickly than stirring by hand. Once you reach a thin trays, don't continue blending unless you want to reach medium or thick trays. Then adding fragrance. Some fragrance accelerate causing the soap to reach thick trays more quickly. So you have to be careful and find out even before you add your fragrance, find out how it's going to react with your soap. Also another tip is adding fragrance towards the end of soap making will give you more time to work with the soap. Some additives actually affect trays. For instance, if you are adding clays out to your soap, it absorbs water. So that's something you have to watch out. So one more thing is um, recipes made with high percentage of hard oils and butter will reach trays more quickly than soap made with mostly liquid oils. And one other tip is temperature also plays a part uh, of how your soap uh, ends up. So warmer temperature speeds up trays more than cooler temperature. There is also a concept called water discounting. Uh, you can uh, Google it once you get a hang of uh, how to make soap. And now you can see that I am getting the last bit of the batter into the mold. As I stopped when I got a thin trays, I'm able to get all the batter into the mold.
I didn't wait a day after six hours. I was just trying to see how it was. And I was surprised it was easily coming out. So I thought, let's make the unmolding video. My kids wanted to be a part of the video and they were not allowed. So after I made the soap, they asked me if they can draw on the soap. And so they did. And there you go, you see the flower. And there is our bunny Midnight. And there is our bunny Peter. So it's all the handiwork. If you like what I'm doing, please like, share, and subscribe. See you next time. Ha, I've been recording with my headphones. <laughs>